I don't think you guys are ready for this. Boom. Hey, what's going on? This is Daniel with Olympus Off-Road and Zeus Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna do a product overview on our new laser off-road lighting. Okay, lasers, what are we talking about and why? First off, let's talk about off-road lighting. Through the years, there have been a variety of lights used for any number of off-road lighting applications. You have your HID lights, and then in recent years, we've seen the evolution of LED lights. LED lights, while they are amazingly efficient and can produce a lot of light and you can get them in any variety, they don't have the distance that your traditional HID lights have. However, HID lights require a lot of power and often can produce a lot of heat. When it comes to off-road applications, the use of power in your vehicle is very important. So that's where LEDs are going to win. If you just need a light that's gonna produce a light a very long distance away, HID is going to win out. When it comes to HID, there's a warm up time. And so there's a period when you flip the light on that you're not gonna get that light coming on at full power. Typically, it can be anywhere from 30 seconds up to 60 seconds for some lights. But if you need instant light, LED is gonna win out right away. However, at full power, HIDs often are gonna have a longer distance that they'll be able to throw that light out in front of your vehicle. So if you're going through the desert, especially in racing, you need to be able to see what's coming up as far out as possible. And that's why HID lights are typically what you're gonna find on off-road race rigs that are racing, say, the Baja 1000 or other areas where they need light a long ways away. Okay, so now that we've talked about a couple of the types of lighting and just did a quick overview of them, lasers. These are not gonna shoot a laser beam out of a light bar and catch a tree on fire. So what everybody asks me is like, how do you do that? How, how am I gonna, am I gonna turn my light bar on and be cutting things down? Is the front of my car gonna be like Cyclops from X-Men that's just shooting everywhere? No. With LED lighting, real quick, all right? You have a diode and the light is emitted and it's controlled through either a reflector or it's controlled through an optic that bends the light where it wants to go. So you have light, lens, output. Lasers are a little bit different. Why can't you just emit a laser through optics? Well, lasers are very small. The beam is very direct. And if we were to do that, it would scatter the light. It would be uncontrolled. Yeah, it'd go a long distance, but it really wouldn't be usable. So here's what we do. With the laser, we have a light emitting diode. The laser is then fired through a mirror and then into a phosphorus element. The phosphorus element is then illuminated and then it shoots the light through the optic. In this case, we use a glass lens. The glass lens allows us to then project that light out as far as it'll go. So this light can produce enough light at three quarters of a mile away for you to read a book. Okay, so that's the simple how they work. Now what everybody wants to see. Let's show you the laser. Boom! Lasers. Okay, so this, this is our version two of our laser light bar. We brought out one earlier this year, but we just weren't happy with the distance, so we put more work into it, and here we are. With this specific configuration, we're using a combination of LED chips and the laser in the middle. This light's bright, so why don't we go outside and I can show you what it does. Okay, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you comparison to a few other type lights. Oh, and just so you know, everything is going to be powered by 12 volts. And to show you a comparison of the difference between LED and laser, we're going to have four different lights. We're going to compare it to a Virgo pod, an Iris pod, a 20 inch Aries bar, and the smallest laser bar that we currently make, our 14 inch laser series. So let's go outside. Oh, and before anybody asks, the video is not going to be edited. There will be no touch ups, no corrections only what actually came out of the camera. All right, I found a really good road by the shop that we can showcase the light in a variety of distances. You can really see what this thing can do. Okay, everything is powered directly from the battery, 12 volts. We're just simply using a power lead. Okay, so these were the headlights on our tow rig, Ram 2500. And as you can see, there's a nice long road here. We can see a little ways out in front of us. 
So let's see what some LED lights will do. We're going to turn the headlights off and use only the LED lights. Headlight off. Nice and dark. All right, the first light we have here, this is our Iris Series pod light. Now, you see when it's up close, nice bright light. And this is right next to the camera. It's about five feet off the ground. Nice bright light, really good width, but you lose it really fast. So there's no distance with it. Really good for an area lighting. You can see it lighting off the sign there, but past about maybe 200 feet, it's not going to be the best option for distance. Okay, next up we have the Virgo Pod. Again, you're going to get a little more distance. It's a great pod light for an A pillar light, all around light. A little more focus, as you can see with the beam. And at five feet, this is the light output. Again, we're getting about maybe 200 yards and the light is dissipating. So as you can kind of see the pattern we're getting here, LED lights are good up close, but in the current configuration, um, we're not getting the distance that one might need. So let's go ahead and step things up to the 20 inch Aries bar. Okay, here's the 20 inch Aries bar again. Look at that, a lot of light, super bright. Looks great, but when we place it right above the camera, I'm right here with the light, the distance might not be there for what you want. We can start to see the signs off in the distance illuminate. And we can kind of see the beam, but when we bring it up, the beam just doesn't have the distance of an HID. Great all around light, and you're not gonna go wrong with this light, nor any of our other lights, but we wanted to take it one step further. So let's go ahead and power up the laser. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Boom! Check that out. That is the Zeus lighting, LED laser light. Look at that beam. First of all, look up in the air. You see that? That is a laser beam. Is look down the road. You see that? That sign is a quarter mile away. And it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but you can see the beam. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I'm literally lighting up the road a quarter mile away. And it's clear as day. So, this is the 14 inch, and it's literally just right above the camera, as you can see there. And look at that beam. That is crazy. You can kind of see in the beam how it's focused, and you can see the refraction. That's beautiful. So let me see if I can follow it. So all right, here's the beam right in front of us. Look at how bright that is. It's so intense. The camera's struggling to pick it up. All right, here we go. It's so stinking bright. That's nuts. All right, so like I said, that yellow sun you see lit up down there is almost a quarter mile. That's past a quarter mile. And I can see clear as day. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. So this is a simple visual of how stinking bright, oh, I hit the camera, how stinking bright this thing is and the distance you're gonna get out of it. You're not joking. It's so bright that I'm literally not wanting to shine it on anybody's house because it's going to be bright. I mean, even up close, that's nuts. This is not a floodlight, it is a spotlight. So if you need a light that's gonna kick light out there <laughs> a long ways away, like HID and further, and consume half the power of LED, this is the way to go. And it's super cost efficient too. You'll be surprised. Look at this thing on the truck. It's so bright. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even, oh, you can kind of see it. Look at that beam. You can kind of see the laser beam there. Look at that. That is sick. It's gonna take a second for the camera to adjust back. So if we look up in the sky, look at that. You see that? That is beautiful. That's just shooting straight up in the sky. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I wanna show you from where we were standing. I'm gonna drive down the road just so you can see how far that sign was. Like I said, it's about a quarter mile and now you'll be able to visually see it. So this is where we were standing and that was the street sign that we were lighting up. And I'm going to do the speed limit of 25 miles an hour.
tell you what's going on. So as you can see, we're doing 25 miles an hour. Looks like somebody else is driving there. I think somebody's cranky that I had a light on. Alright, still doing 25 miles an hour. Now we're down to the second hill. Still doing about the speed limit. Okay, now we are down to that sign. As you can see, that was the sign we lit up. Pretty cool. Boom, and there you have it. That is why lasers are the future of off-road lighting. Zeus Lighting has these available from 14 inches to 50 inches and priced very, very reasonably. You're not gonna find a light that's gonna throw the distance this light does anywhere even close to that. So to find out more information, go to olympusoffroad.com and check them out. Watching it end again and again. I feel it in words. a sophisticated heat beam which we called a laser.